All right. So I wonder if there's any chests up ahead. Whoa, what is this place? It's almost like a shanty town of sorts. Whoa. Okay. This is pretty cool. Can I get up here, please? Thank you. Yay! Yay! There we go. Or tr oh, there's a treasure here. Yeah. Hello? You oh, there it is. Nice. But yeah, I really hope that you uh, you feel better and that you have a, a better week. Oh my goodness. Another pearl. Yo, I'm literally going to have to go and fast travel to freaking um, Brightwall. Because I think I'll be rich after freaking selling all the gems I've been finding. Good lord. <laughs> okay. We've descended into the chasms of the netherworld, stared death in the face, and waded through things so foul I'd rather not think about them. But this is where it gets really ugly. And buried somewhere beneath it all are the people Logan has left behind. All the industrial stuff? Yeah, this is like pure 1800s vibes right now. Like 1700s, 1800s vibes. For sure. I can't believe Reaver is allowed to run this town. Oh, Reaver is in here. I completely forgot. You can see for yourself what life outside the castle is like. Poverty, hunger, disease. Wouldn't you want to rebel against it all? Oh, 100%. Wow. This is crazy. You won't see too many kids running around here. Most of them have no choice but to work. It's either that or begging. Yeah. Child labor, man. Oof. Damn, this is wild. I wonder who we're gonna meet. Reaver is exploiting us. We deserve fair pay. We demand better working conditions. We're workers. We're not slaves. Reaver treats us like animals. We're not gonna take it anymore. There's only one thing for it. We uh oh. Stand up to Reaver. Okay, dude. So much easier than standing up. My dear friends, in order to raise morale, I am offering prizes to the most deserving workers. The rules that will govern what I like to call the Reaver Team Spirit Award are these. Firstly, any worker that so much as murmurs another complaint will be cut. Secondly, any worker who takes more than a three-second break will be shot. Thirdly, any worker who breaks any other rules I have yet to formulate will, yes, you guessed it, be shot. They return to work now. As you know, I'm a generous man and likely to start handing out prizes right away. So go on. Damn. Be up with you. Chop, chop. So Reaver has really turned his franchise around since uh, the second game. That's why Albion needs you. Your brother must have been out of his mind when he handed control of Industrial to Reaver. We should go on. It's time you met the Bowerstone Resistance. Ooh, the Bowerstone Resistance. Dang. I like the sound of that. So we, we're going to have to go to the headquarters and talk to the Bowerstone Resistance. So essentially what we're doing within the story is gathering all sorts of different assets and people to help us um, revolt against the main character's brother, who's like the king of Albion. I really love how much time we're spending in caves and sewers these days. No, really. I should warn you. I don't know what kind of reception we'll get. I know their leader well enough, but it was never safe for me to come down and meet the rest of them. And oh. Hello. Hello. Maybe we've got the wrong place. 
Let's, um, you know, get out. We won't move if you won't shoot. Deal? You'd better tell your friend that. It's all right. Just do as he says. Who are you? And what are you doing here? I'm Walter, and this is... Well, that really doesn't matter right now. We're here to speak with Paige. I say we shoot Listen, him. we're on your side. Just hear us out. We don't make deals with spies. Shoot! Wait! Put your weapons down. I thought I gave the orders around here, kid. Sorry, Paige. Got Crazy. Away. Walter, glad you're all right. And I'm glad you came in when you did. I wasn't exactly expecting you. Let's talk somewhere a bit more private. Hmm. Damn. So I guess Paige knows um, Walter here. This is pretty interesting. I had this whole plan, you see. But I... Well, we ended up leaving the castle earlier than I thought. I heard. Pity. Your messages were always useful. I can offer you something better. Oh, damn. So she has a whole map and everything. Huh. So this is like a war room almost. Paige, I'd like you to meet. I know who he is. I thought you'd know better than to bring the prince here. He's not just a prince. He's a hero. Great. Give him a medal. No, I mean he's a hero. Like his father. Really? It doesn't change anything. Your brother is the reason we live underground. He's the reason we fight. How do we know he's any better? Let him prove it. It's not just me he needs to convince. The people of this city need someone they can believe in. Oh, 100%. We should follow you, then we'll talk. For now, I have work to do. Looks like you have work to do, too. You have a whole city to inspire. Oh, man. So, oh, now we're on the road to rule again. New Fable when? I really wish they did the release date when they uh, brought in the, the new trailer. But uh, it's unfortunate. But I believe people are saying that it's going to be late this year. Or no, not late this year. Um, Like mid to late next year, I would uh, imagine. You have met the true voice of the people of this city. It is imperative that you win Paige and her resistance movement to your cause. And just as important that you prove to Bowerstone that you can be its rightful ruler. Okay. Nice. So we have another 60... So I think what we can do is level up our melee and then we'll just have one guild seal left. Crazy. There we go. Hell yeah. So now I got to get earning those guild seals again. This is a whole bunch of stuff here. So that's the oh force push. Dang, I totally forgot the force push was in um, Fable 3. I like the different art direction they're going with the new Fable. Oh, for sure. It would seem your heroism must be put to the test once again, sir. May I suggest that you return to the sanctuary and inspect the map? There appear to be numerous opportunities available. Okay, so I have to get out of the sewers here. And then we gotta do some side quests to gain... Um, a hundred guild seals. Oh boy. And I, so now I only can get, um, 99 left. I love Jasper, such a great butler. Oh, hundred percent. Isn't, isn't the voice John Cleese, if I remember correctly? He's so cool. Such a dope person. <laughs> Freaking the king of Monty Python. <laughs> Oh, man. My favorite has to be um, Life of Brian. I don't think I've seen every single movie, um, but Life of Brian is for sure one of my favorites of all time. <laughs> and the background, the background music of the game, they actually reuse some of the songs from the first Fable, which is actually pretty cool. Like this song that's playing right now in the background, I don't know if you can hear it, but I, I recognize that it's the uh, cemetery music from the first game. <laughs> That's the, that, that lets you know how much of a Fable guy I am. 
Do I recognize old music like that? Of course you can. Everybody can hear it. It's enough to drive a perfectly good worker insane. I used up all my savings to buy this factory, and all I'm left with is, well, an empty building. Together, we will build a better future. And a voice that won't shut up. Look, I I'm sorry, but I just can't take it anymore. When I went down to the cellar to investigate, the voice just got louder. <laughs> so I ran as fast as my legs could carry me. But perhaps you are brave enough to uncover this mystery. You could exercise my factory and bring you jobs to the poor people. Of okay. Oh, 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 you don't know what a relief this is. <laughs> I thought nobody would help me. The voice is coming from beneath the floor and through the pipes. You should begin your exorcism there. You can oh boy. Through the trap door. So now we literally are becoming like ghost hunters. Yo, this is actually crazy. Factory basement. Oh boy. So now we have to go into the basement, obviously. Of course. Uh, it has to be the scariest part of like any building. <laughs> there we go. Oh my lord. Is there anything I can grab here? Ooh. A twitch a chest. Noise. This community is the entire world. Your every action must be focused on preserving and improving it. Oh my god, that voice is so annoying. Good lord. I was just wondering if there's any like treasures or dig spots or anything like that. Whoa, there's a worker down there. Oh no. There's like a dead worker. Bruh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. God damn. Okay, got that. There's like a whole bunch of bats like coming at me for some reason. <laughs> Bruh. Oh god, is there more bats? You gotta be kidding me. There is. Oh my god, the audio. Yo, the fact that I could shoot bats from midair is crazy. Okay. So what are we doing here? Ooh. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Well, what is going on? Sir. Of course. This is unreal. You gotta be kidding me. There we go. What is this audio? Oh boy. There we go. Got him. Quest. Okay, I got you. I wonder why they're calling me mutant. I guess maybe because I have powers, I suppose. What the heck? They got like willpowers? These dogs? You're kidding me. Man, yeah, I've, I have to go, but it was nice watching you play. I appreciate you for coming in. For real. Hope you have an, an amazing day. There we go. Another chest. Oh, what is going on here? Hello? Oh, search body. What? I write these words now in case I never make it back. That voice. 
It must be Montague Humes, the millionaire inventor who bought the Bowerstone Cave Network all those years ago. My employer said finding Humes' treasures wouldn't be dangerous, but... I don't know. Maybe I should turn back now. Interesting. So this is like, I believe, a spirit of someone? I have no idea. Oh, we got gold. What in the heck? Oh, there's a treasure. Okay, I see how it is. That's pretty cool. Ink blot makeup? Slow time potion. Huh. That's pretty interesting. Turn back or die. You are not welcome here. There we go. Oh god, more enemies. That is insane. There we go. Good lord. Come on. Nice, we got him. We freaking got him. Yes, there's uh, like spikes down there. Good lord. Okay, dude. That is crazy. People are going after my dog, man. Come on. Jeepers, man. Okay, let's keep going. Got him. There we go. I have to get used to uh, rolling in this game for the combat. Oh boy. Yo, is this like an XP farm or something? I'm very confused. This is unreal. Got him. Was that it? I think that was it. Possibly. Potentially. Possibly. Possibly sit. I'm kidding. <laughs> you cannot be allowed to continue. Your death is imminent. Okay, so the oh, big ass gate for some reason. That is insane. Back to Understone. So this is the, so that's what it's called. It's called Understone. Whoa, whoa! This is like a whole city underneath a cave. Whoa! This is like a hamlet of sorts. What in the heck? What the? This is wild. Whoa! There's people down here. <laughs> Excuse them. They think you're a monster. <laughs> Poor ignorant folk. They don't know any better. They were born and raised here, underground. Never seen an outsider before, you see? So all they know is what Montague tells them. He's in charge around here, always has been. Though he's a real recluse, he lives in that house on the hill, watching us and sending... Okay. Talking tubes. Uh, you must have heard his voice, right? Citizens, stay in your homes until the crisis has passed. All will be well in the end. Understone remains your safe haven. Got you. There he goes. Don't take him long to know what's going on. You better go and see him and let him know we are not a monster. Otherwise, you'll be held to pay. The yeah, for sure. We'll take you up there. Okay, sounds good to me. Good lord. Alright, so uh, we have to go to the elevator and then we can go all the way up. 
to his uh, house. So I'm guessing Bowerstone doesn't know that there's a whole freaking city underneath Bowerstone. Like, that's that's pretty wild. Good lord. That's pretty cool. Wow, so it's called Understone. Which makes sense because it's a branch of Bowerstone. Wow. That is pretty neat. I, I like this concept. I don't think I've ever done this mission before. Uh, at least I don't remember this, like, at all. Very nice. So now we're on the upper level. And I would imagine that, um... Okay, dude. I see how it is. I see how it is, dude. So this is like an arena? Okay, man. So now my dog is going after these dogs. Okay. The second line of the Understone defense system has been activated. Prepare for high levels of pain. Holy dude. So there's like finishing moves that I can have. Okay. Hold me. This is insane. Get him. Boom. Nice. I love the flourishing in this game. Huge W. I'm having so much fun. It's a freaking blast. Oh, God. More. Got them. Okay, man. Good lord almighty. There's just so many people. Okay, let's keep going. Got him. Very nice. Okay, so we're supposed to go down here. Anything else? I don't even know what's going on. I'm so confused. More! So this is like a freaking arena here. Slow time potion? Huge. Got him. Not too bad. Oh my goodness. I'm literally just gonna have to focus up here for a second. Dude! Got you. Okay, dude. The Colin? You gotta be kidding me. I do not remember this mission, like, at all. What the hell, boy? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Can I just get you from here? Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Dude. Okay, man. I gotta keep rolling. What the hell? He like teleports. This is insane. Got him. Hell yeah, dude. Wow. That was unreal. So much fighting. <laughs> Jeez, man. That was unbelievable. I'm not a monster, man. W whatever you think I am. I just wanted to, to talk to you at the end of the day. Okay. This machine can be adjusted to play any messages you wish, and the citizens below have been conditioned to obey them. If, by some miracle, the above world recovers from the devastation, the machine can be shut down from within this room. Okay. Doing so will open a passage to the above world, and the citizens will be free to return to the sunlight. So... This is what the old loon was up to. Oh, this is my lucky day! Oh, oh. hello again, friend. <laughs> Look, forgive me for not being completely honest before, but I had no idea there would be a whole city down here. I expected treasures, inventions, but <laughs> not this! Think of the business opportunities! A whole town devoted to work, doing whatever you tell them, never questioning you, never demanding payment. Leave the machine running and we can share the profits. Okay, dude. <laughs> we'll be rolling in gold right. without having to lift a finger. Yeah, they... So we can free the town or enslave it. Obviously, I'm going to free it. Duh. Crazy. But thank you for coming into the stream. It really means the world. This really reminds me of Fallout almost with the vaults. That's pretty cool. I like that. <laughs> Thank you to your actions. Uh, thanks to your actions. The citizens of the underground town have been freed. Bowerstone is buzzing with talk of this unique and exciting neighborhood. It won't be long before tourists visit it in droves. Wow. So we got 30 guild seals from that. Are we all set for tonight? I've double checked every bit of it. Would you I don't believe it. You're a hero. I mean, you're a real hero. That's just what we need. Salutations. We are three magi of great power. I am Madron of a thousand faces, and this is Caliph, Lord of the Fairies. And lo, <laughs> as I have attested, there is a third who is counted among our number. Oh, for goodness sake, Mark. My mum wants me home for supper. Fine. And lo, that's Jim. Now, Princess Frexia has been taken by an evil baron to another plane. Will you rescue her? All you have to do sure, is why not? This magic orb, and you'll be transported to the baron's realm. Oh, what is this? I'm like growing small? Ain't no way. Oh my goodness, what just happened? I'm, <laughs> I'm so confused. 
Okay. Yo, Sammy, thank you for coming in. Get on with it. So it was that the hero came to the little village of Lightwater. Someone like a, a little hero here, I guess. Of the evil Baron's castle. It's a very pretty village. Yeah, I said pretty. What in the heck is this? Find out about the missing princess. You're kidding, right? A hero starts talking. And I recognize this music. Well, some players like talking to people, immersing themselves in the story world. This is like when you told me people read item descriptions. No <laughs> what the hell is this? Item de cool. Looks like old Clem is up. Okay. Hail hero. I am old Clem, <clears throat> the blacksmith. I make weapons, and if you bring me some sky metal, I can make you a magic sword. Sky metal? It's a thousand gold per plus. So, a plus three sword is three thousand gold. Oh, and I, I, oh, and I can't make anything more than a plus three because I'm only a journeyman blacksmith. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, adventure for anything above a plus three. It's on balancing, you see. Uh, forging doesn't work. Uh, I didn't have time to do the models. I, I am Mildred, a humble milkmaid. <laughs> I brighten my joyless days. I daydream about a handsome nobleman, strong enough to dispatch highwaymen, but gentle enough to hold me for hours in his warm, powerful arms. <laughs> talking here you or mildred that was mildred what about the princess you should say that mildred saw some hobs carrying a large wriggling bag but she didn't excellent hero's gonna talk to arturo now we can get things moving and that she's really hot oh my god greetings stranger i can see from your good looks and heroic demeanor that you must be on a quest to rescue the princess I saw her yesterday carried off by the Baron's evil servants, a troop of hobs. They took her through this gate to the castle on the hill. What? Well, that's it. No clues to solve. <laughs> well, the hero has to figure out how to get up the hill. You mean like... This is so like wild. It? Hey, no spoilers. But um, if you guys don't know the music in the background, it's actually the music from... Um, the first game, the first fable, and I believe it was the the music when you went into Greatwood, which is uh, which was like a foresty place or something like that, if I remember correctly. Greetings, mighty hero. I am Horace, the most gifted poet of our age. Shall I recite a sonnet for you? Oh, radiant orb into the sky rise and illuminate for mine mortal eyes my true love's face and in silhouette frame her slender and curvaceous frame what do you think guys <laughs> nice frame with frame i guess the most gifted poet of our age doesn't own a thesaurus <laughs> true crazy but man, this music gets me nostalgic for sure. This is so crazy. So we're on like this little Hero board game of sorts. The eerie tower on the hill. It's not very Whoa. Though, is it? Bear. This is a massive tower. tower didn't you? Good lord. But I thought you said pretty. What kind of adventure has a pretty tower on a hill? Be quiet, you two. I'll deal with this. <laughs> Whoa, 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 what is going on? Excuse me. Got you. And again, they changed the music to an original Fable song. I think that's so cool. So the hero slew the last of the wolves, which had proven to be a mighty challenge. Far more exciting than rabbits. Yeah, a bit predictable though. The novelty of the rabbits wears off a bit when you realize you can't fight them though, doesn't it? Does everything have to be about fighting? <laughs> yeah. Story is conflict. Ideally, with not too much story getting in the way. True. That's not too bad. 
So we're, we're going to the Baron's Tower. Oh boy. So I'm pretty sure that song in the background was from um, Darkwood, if I remember that, from the first Fable. The hero entered the Baron's factory. Teddy bears. What are teddy bears doing here? Aren't they sweet? I put them in. Nice, eh? Yeah, they are. They are nice. You know what we don't want in the evil Baron's castle? Anything nice. Shh. Here come the princess and the Baron. Help! Oh, somebody please what? help! I've been kidnapped by the evil Baron! <laughs> I am the evil Baron, and the princess shall be my wife. And all these bears will, well, they'll do evil stuff, for they are the evil teddy bears. I shall never marry you. Oh, she's very to like that. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is this mission, man? This is hilarious. Okay, so now we're in this Baron's shop of sorts, I would imagine. A wise old man suddenly appeared before the hero. Riddle me re, cried the old man. Oh no, not one of your puzzles. They're far too hard. Just let him open the chest. If all trimps are trumps, and all trumps are trumps, then all trimps are definitely trumps. True or false? Actually, that's um, rather easy. Oh, just give him the sword. <laughs> Crazy. Whoa. What is this sword? Now, and now he's got the sword far too easily. Should have been much harder. Excuse me? This weapon comes from the Artifacts and Armaments Codex for the popular game Hollows and Hobbs. Third edition, revision 1.5.2.2.1.7.3.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
Okay, gotcha. Pretty, whoa, 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 but this is pretty crazy. This reminds me of the, um, the battle arena that we defeated, um, Jack of Blades in, in the first game. Almost. That really reminds me of it. The heck is this? The legendary condom of the gods. Okay. <laughs> Need I say more? <laughs> and the killers uh, are chickens. Oh no. Yes, I thought it This is like a Monty Python bit here. But also to make us think about our relationship with food and that. Bloody hell, Ben. You <sighs> Wait, let me fix it. Oh no. It's a demon chicken. This is no ordinary chicken. It's a fire breathing demon chicken. Ain't no way. Bruh. Demonic chickens? I kind of feel bad for them. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sir? Oh my god, there's so many of them. Why do you guys always want chickens and everything? It's just weird. And so the mighty Okay, I think we're good. <laughs> fire breathing demonic um chickens of doom. Anyway, on he ran, seeking a way out of these dark and gloomy caverns. To Lightwater Village? The hero emerged into the light to find the evil baron at bay. <laughs> Help me, hero. You're my only hope. I, the Baron, shall tolerate your meddling no longer. My elite hop guard will take care of you. They oh, boy. Human flesh. Oh. <laughs> okay, dude. Okay, here we go. Got you. Oh my lord. Come on, flourish. Oh, what did I do here? Oh, <laughs> what was that? What was that move? That is goddamn hilarious. I'm almost dead here. In no way. Okay, nice. I had to focus up a little bit there because I almost died. Insane. All right. This is bound to be even more people. Yup. Okay. Got you. Oh my goodness. Okay. Ain't no way. <laughs> what is this? What? <laughs> what the hell? That was goddamn hilarious. Okay. Nice. Lay at the hero's feet. Huge. Hero stood between him and the evil I challenge you to personal combat, hero. But know that I am immune to all weapons save one. A magic that is the bane of my existence. Oh. Which Wait, hold on. No way you could possibly have. 
Your puny gun cannot hurt me! I am invulnerable! Okay. I do have the uh, other weapon. Too busy. You might have a look in the Hold on. I gotta get the scimitar, whatever it's called. Perfect. Here it is. The sword! The Bane sword! It cannot be! No! I am slain! <laughs> <laughs> What kind of rubbish game lets you kill the villain in one blow? Well, you gave the hero that Baron's Bane sword. Yeah, but it wasn't supposed to be so easy to get. Oh, give it a rest, will you, please? Come on, back to the game. Hero, thank you for saving me. How can I ever repay you? I can think of something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The hero kisses the princess. Oh my god. Only because she wants him to, being a strong, self-confident woman who chooses her own destiny. Crazy. <laughs> what was that? Ever after? Well, they would have, but the Baron had poisoned the princess and she died an excruciating death. Her inhuman death streaks tormented a local stable boy who grew up to be a vicious serial killer. And cannibal. You're sick, Jim. Why do you always want to kill everything? Why can't we just have a happy ending? That is a happy ending. I'm with Ben. They both lived happily ever after, and there was little to no cannibalism. Oh, great. Yeah, I've never seen that before. <laughs> Crazy dude. All right, we did it. Nice. That was unreal. Good lord. <laughs> Great work, my friend. You are fantastic. You have to be the best hero of all time. I'm going to have my bard stroke sorcerer compose a song about you. <laughs> Whatever. We bestow upon you the title of Honorary Master of Dungeon. Oh my god. You have survived the game and, re and returned to the real world. But was it just a game, or is this the real world? Maybe the fantasy hasn't ended. Maybe it's only just begun. Actually, no, it's ended. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that went well, don't you think? That is funny. Bit of gaming, that. When's the next session? Same time next week. Hang on, where's the orb? Which orb? Which orb? How many orbs have we got? The orb of interplanar transference. I think that Hero kept it. Oh. Hey, probably just as well. For a magical artifact of unfathomable power, it was a bit rubbish. <laughs> oh my god, that was insane. Ah, hello. That was hilarious. All right, so let's go back and get the best um, hammer here, which is this. The Bloodstone Bludgeon, whatever that is. But this looks gnarly as heck. Perfect. Okay, I think we are good to go. 